Now, the following story may be uncomfortable uh, if you have children around you right now, but it is a story painfully uh, told through the eyes of those who have lived on the first lane of quick money, nightlife, and fast-spreading HIV at Kenya's border with Uganda in Busia County. It is a story of a man forgiven by his wife after a randy lifestyle left him HIV positive and another man who loves another man, uh, other men rather, Dr. Masi Korir, Texas, across Busia border and back. Asua pa mi wakati nilikubali, hii boma hakuna mtu alikuwa na kanyaga, hata brother zangu alikuwa na kanyaga. Wakipita hapo kwa barabara, kama mekunywa hile kitu yao kali, wanasema, ah, uya hata nini, siku saba hazita hicha kama atijazika. Mtoto amezaliwa ni kijana wa expect yu kijana kulingana na mavazi yangu hii si mimi ni kijana nafaa ni yule lakini hawawezi wakajua kwamba huyu mtoto ako na mwelekeo wa mapenzi kitafauti Busia County at one end of Kenya's transport corridor is home to these two men whose stories though different converge and paint a picture of what HIV and AIDS is in the country Kuna siku nilienda hospitali. Nilikuwa na boyfriend then condom ikapasuka. Sasa nilienda hosi na kesi ya condom bust. Naona. But one of the health providers ananijua. Na ilikuwa Saturday. Nilienda asubuhi saa mbili, lakini kufika saa nane. nilikuwa bado sijakudumiwa. Meet Wekesa, not his real name. He represents a community identified as a key population in the fight against HIV and AIDS in Kenya, the gay community, as he waited for medical service. Amesha ita wenzake, like a hundred people amekuja hapo, mtu amekuja hapo, mwingine ametafuta kalamu ya nyakuna, mwingine amekuja ametafuta karatasi ya nyakuna. Hasa inakuwa, amenda amesigno. Hasa wakikuja, mtu anakuja, papa anatafuta hii. Hili, ya kukuona. Wekesa is a man whose experiences leave him with bittersweet memories of encounters with healthcare workers. Juzi kulikuwa na mmoja wetu amekuwa na STI in the other county, Samia sub county. So akaenda kwa daktari akamwambia kwa nasa akamwambia yeye ni fulani na amepata hii STI ako nayo. So ilikuwa aseme the partner Unaona? Nti akasema the partner. He ikakuwa sasa ni kumuombea kwanza. He estimates that there are about 200 men who have sex with men at the Busia border. Kwa hao 200 utapata kama 98 wako na virusi. Unajua shida ni kwamba ama ukweli kuna LGBT wa kumpaka kwa zile ndoa. Nilijua hali yangu mwaka 2002. Kati nilipimwa nikapatikana niko na virusi. John's story is different. He has been living the last 15 years positively both in his HIV status and general outlook in life. Naye mke wangu nilipompeleka akapimwa na kupatikana ana virusi. Akaambiwa ngojee kwa miezi mitatu kabishauri kwamba tunapofanya ngono tumie nini kondom nilikubali pia alikuwa mgumu kidogo lakini alikuja akakubali kwa sababu alikuwa akisema tangu azaliwe hajai tumia kondom since then john has been diligent kutokea mwaka 2003 tumetumia kondom mpaka dakika hii umuhimu wa kutumia kondom kwa kuzuia kwa mkishana virusi ama kama wewe unaishi na virusi na mwingine ana virusi kuzia kuongezeana viru virusi umuhimu wa kutumia kondom ni kuzuia ugonjwa wa sina umuhimu wa kutumia kondom ni kupata mimba ambao hujatarajia in fact he has been teaching others on condom use ukishaona ikosa expiry date iko sawa sawa unaifinya finya uone kwamba kuna pressure ndani ukiona iko na pressure namna hii unajua hiyo iko sawa Ukiona ina pressure, unajua imeharibika. Kisha maliza namna hiyo, utakata kapisika moja, 
ukitaka kuitumia utaangalia kuna mahali imewekwa kama makasi hivi utairarua John's story dates back to a time when his work was crossing from one border to the next. Taka mke. Tunahitaji tu. Hizi viruzi naona kaa kwa sababu nimefanya kasi Nairobi miaka 18. Na kwa hiyo miaka 18 nikuja nikafanya kasi kama loaders. Kwa tukitoka hapo na Mwarabu na Lagari kwenda paka Mombasa kwenda paka Tanzania. Kwa hiyo nyarakati unajua ukiwa kwale kwa hiyo msafara ukienda kulala utapata mwenzako na mtaelewana wakati hiyo hata mambo ya kondom ilikuwa yaenea sana ilikuwa tu ni sure imeandikwa mahali sure na ukienda kununua tena iko very expensive sasa watu wengine tulikuwa hatuangalie vitu kama hizo many truck drivers after kilometers from one border to the next as you can see here rest and this becomes a high prevalence zone for hiv and aids because as they rest in the night time then it's high time for any other sexual activity sometimes kuna huwa kuna kazi unaenda labda unaenda mbali unaweza enter maybe mwezi mmoja au unaenda hata mwezi tu mwezi mbili wa Kenya that means in sababu ninasikianga vile madereva ya sangu wanasemanga in Kenya a lot of people wanatumia kodom lakini in Uganda they don't care visa vya maambukizi viko juu kwa sababu tuko katika area ya mpakani. Kwa hivyo kuna watu wengi wameweza kutangamana na watu kutoka nchi ya Uganda. Ukimu unachangiwa na e, nchi yetu ya jirani sana. Wanapoenda kule e, uko na longo ama kule Sofia na Uganda kwa, e, na Uganda kwa ujumla inasababisha ukimwi kuingia katika sehemu yetu ya Kenya. Poverty has been cited as a major driver in the spread of HIV at the border. In their attempt to sell fruits and vegetables, young girls and women's bodies are not spared from the sale either. Wanawake katika kuanzia miaka 15 hadi 24 ambapo tunaita vulnerable women and girls ambapo wako katika hatari sana ya kuambukizwa. Tuko na 4500 truck drivers ambao wanapita wanapita hapa. Na wanaweza kuwa kama kama truck drivers at 1000 Uh, and five ambao sasa wamefanya nini wameadhirika These different organizations and government agencies including the National AIDS Control Council have put in extra efforts like having clinics at these border points to test drivers and continue some on their antiretroviral therapies while still in transit Umepata mteja anatoka Kampala anaenda Mombasa. Leo hii amekupatia STI ama amekupatia gonorrhea ya whatever ndio umeenda hosi. Watataka uende ulete huyo mteja. Shuali. Mtu ameenda kuunga, amepita hapa ameenda kuunga. Utamfuata kwangu uende mrudishe. Uh, in Busia County the HIV prevalence is uh, 6.7%. Yes, and uh, that is 1.1% above the national prevalence. This county uh, records quite a large number of what you call Uh, these populations, uh, key populations, we have uh, many, many, um, we'd call them sex workers, uh, both male and female. The open border policy has significantly improved cross-border economic activities, but on the other hand, stakeholders in the health sector are wary that control of the spread of HIV could get out of hand. As truckers prepare to rest on the Kenyan side of the border or proceed to the Ugandan side of the border, then the nighttime ushers in another set of activities that have contributed significantly to the prevalence of HIV and AIDS in Busia County. Dr. Masikori, KTN News, from the County.